Greetings and welcome to Living Supernaturally. Such a joy to come together and spend a few moments on, in God's word and praying together. This week we will be talking about stewardship and how God has called us to be good stewards of everything that he has blessed us with. 1 Timothy chapter 6 verse 6 through 8. Now godliness with contentment is great gain. For we brought nothing into this world and it is certain we can carry nothing out and having food and clothing with these we shall be content do you ever sigh after a con- uh, with contentment after a good meal it's a great feeling in some cultures they have the saying which goes full stomach a merry heart but how long are we content soon after the meal we may get hungry again Contentment is a state of peace and satisfaction. In the passage that we read, Paul is showing an amazing virtue when he declares he is content with food and clothing only. In other words, he is content enough to live from day to day, trusting that God will provide for each day. Paul's contentment did not rely on gathering possessions. He realized that material things don't last and it can be taken from us at an any at any instant. It does not mean we don't plan, prepare or invest for the future or it does not mean we live arbitrarily. But Paul's relationship with God was the source of his contentment. We must remember that Paul isn't writing this when things are going well in his life or after a challenging season in his life paul is writing this from a roman prison so what is it what is the secret of being content in every and any situation paul emphatically declares this in philippians chapter 4 and verse 13 a common verse that we all know says i can do all things through christ who strengthens me Now Paul isn't sitting in the Roman prison feeling satisfied with his circumstances but Paul has learned to be content in every situation because he has learned to trust God. We can only find contentment when our hearts are rooted in Christ Jesus. So how do we keep an eternal perspective and learn to be content in any circumstance? Paul writes in Romans 12 and 2 Do not conform to the pattern of this world but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. All we have to do is read God's word, meditate on God's word and renew our mind. Being a Christian does not mean that we don't deserve many good things. God wants us to enjoy beautiful things that he has given us in life. It means Christ has called us out of darkness into the fullness of his life. And being content in life is life's greatest treasure. Let's pray. Father, we want to thank you for your word that speaks to us. We thank you for contentment. And I pray God that even as we journey through this life that we will learn to walk in contentment that we will be lord your children understanding and knowing that you as our heavenly father will provide for us all that we need according to your riches and glory in Christ Jesus we thank you for this wonderful privilege god we give you all the praise and glory may your name be glorified in and through our lives in Jesus name amen Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.